Yup, today I'm going to show you a rep trick that you have not seen before. I can tell you for sure you have not seen this before because I did it out of nowhere. Okay, I'm a pro to and this is what I want pros to do. Let's jump in it. Ow! Is that the sound of me jumping in it? Okay, so I have some stuff here. Um, this is a bit of a song soon to be released. Show greatness. And this is a lead line vocal track lead vocal here. Oh, don't believe your lies. Don't give in to a pair of lies. Heavily distorted. I just love it. Oh, don't believe your lies. First, we're going to take this. I already sent them to the track. We hit like this and hit up ctrl l to get it in the track so you just come here and hit it and go to that left click there on what you want to send to the track and you come to the track and you ctrl l so i have the lead line here and the voice here i'm going to create a track here for the reverb and before we continue it doesn't matter the door you're using we're using f20 here but it doesn't matter the door you're using whether it's Pro Tools, Cubase whatever door you're using this will work for you we're going to add reverb to this here so let's go uh, Footy Reverb 2 everybody have that if you're using FL Studio you can use a stock plugin your reverb that comes with whatever you're using I'm going to add another reverb here I'm going to at the separator okay so uh, let me recolor this so that we know what we're working on so i'll just recolor that hit enter and recolor this too so that we can identify reverb okay so we have two reverb there I'm going to send this to these two tracks whichever way you do it in your door please go ahead for this end will be what to use here but I'm just going to do it route to this track here so I just make sure the track I'm going to route to the next track is highlighted then I go to the track I want to route it to and click on this arrow here this one and I go to route to this track it sends signal from this track where I have the lead line to this two the dry signal too is coming out so what i need to do is to make sure there's no dry on the reverb maybe push the wet up and uh, also i would like to cut some part of the lows out let me mute this one so i'll work with one so this is l cut low cut you can use your eq to do it but whichever reverb you're using if you have eq on it you can just do it So that's my low cut. The highs, I'll just leave that one there. Um, next, let me go to the next reverb. Let me see. Low cut, I'm just going to carelessly put it somewhere. To something or whatever. So I'm just carelessly dropping it to 36 hertz here. Then maybe I'll take the eyes. I'll just make it a little bit different from the first one. Okay, then the size, I'll take it down. This is the dry signal. I'm taking it all the way down. The weight, I'm bringing it up. And I just want it to be different. A little bit different from the first one. Let me see um, what the first one gives to us. So I just want them to look different a little. So maybe the size I should... What I want to achieve is one of the reverb not really exactly like the other one okay so this is what you hear but that's not the magic i'll pan one to the left and i pan the other one to the right now listen to it okay it's too much just take it down okay 
Okay. Some of you go, oh, that's against the rules. Okay. In fact, I think I should do a series of videos that break the rules. Yes, I think I should do that. It's nice we change some normal things we know about music production and being crazy stuff, crazy enough to make things better. So let's just hear it. Let me use one so that you hear the difference. Now use both of them. One of them. Hopefully you can hear that. There's this space that's creating. Uh, both of them now. One of them, just one. This time I'll use this one. Hopefully you can hear the difference between using one and panning both of them. Just sound wider. Now let's go to the vocals. Let's hear it. I'm going to now route the vocals to this track, route to this track. If you're using another door, you're just sending the vocals to the reverb track. So let's do the left and right one. Left and right, let's go. Oh, don't believe your eyes. Don't give in to a pair of light. Take down the reverb. Oh, don't believe your eyes. Don't give in to a pair of lights. You freak me down, don't believe. Okay, now let's use one. Oh, don't believe your eyes. Don't give in to a pair of lights. I'm using so much reverb so that you can hear what is going on. Now, let me use both of them again. Now. Oh, don't believe your eyes. Don't give in to a pair of light. Now I want to use one. Oh, don't believe your eyes. Don't give in to a pair of lights. You freak me down. Don't believe your mind. Don't believe your mind. Okay. Uh, let me use both of them again. Hopefully you can hear the space. Oh, don't believe your eyes. Don't give in to a pair of light. If you've gotten anything or two from this video, please let me know and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a thing when we drop new videos on this channel. I'm El Proto, this is All One Pro Studio. That's it. You see me small.